brother. This if I if if we have this particular thing, so if I ask the question, you will be a little bit confused there, isn't it? So why you will be confused here? So because you will be thinking that. So yes. So who is that person? You won't recall that easily, isn't it? Whereas, so if uh, before going to the movie, if I ask you that thing, okay, what happens? You will be seeing that. So uh, you will remember the question. Okay, ma'am had asked who is villain's father. So what you will be doing? Father's brother. So you will be concentrating on that particular thing. Therefore, so whenever you people are doing the listening, okay, yeah, I could not cope up to your. Yeah. I guess somebody had. Just give me a one second, guys. Just one. It is downloading. Just one second. Somebody wanted to present. Yeah, I'm present. I'm not at presented. I'm presenting. It is downloading. Okay, okay. So no, if you want me to present, I can do that as well. No problem. Okay. Uh, can you present the listening, Vala? Uh, today's handout. Yes, I'll do that. Um, yes. No, uh, the uh, this one, the second task, Vala. Uh, second task. That is, uh, okay. I will do that. That is yesterday's handout, no? Yeah. Okay. It is opening for me also, but it is asking like the downloading is taking a lot of time now. I don't know uh, why. There must be some uh, technical uh, technical issue. Yeah, kindly you share the thing. Yes, ma'am, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, Janvi, I will be. Uh, what is that? Uh, doing little slow. I'll go little slow. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, Supriya, are you presenting? Yes, ma'am. Is it visible? Uh, it is. N yeah, now it is visible. I'll just uh, open task two. Yeah, task two. Mm -hmm. Um, this is uh, task two is in, not in yesterday's. Uh, OK, today's only. Today only, yeah, I have that PPT as well. Okay, just kindly present that with audios. Yeah, mm. so ma'am, you are lagging, yeah. I think. No, no, no. Uh, type, can you present it? This is type two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it is not visible here. Yeah? I presented it, ma'am. OK. Uh, guys, whether it is visible for you guys? No. No, it is not, uh, uh, Supriya. It is not visible? No. Ma'am, um, it, yes, ma'am, now it's visible. OK. Yeah, so right. So now you people can see here we have the second. Yesterday we were doing multiple choice question. Multiple choice question usually occurs where uh, so it occurs in the third task only maximum number of times. Why it uh, occurs on the third audio means because multiple people speaking. And at the same time, you also see that so multiple uh, this one will be happening. What is that? I can say. Uh, uh, here you will be uh, seeing that uh, so multiple people speaking so multiple ideas so we'll be getting confused that is the reason so you find this kind of questions usually to wrap the students in your this one only what is that I can say uh, in your uh, uh, this one what is that uh, basically the third task only so and I had told you also here what is that you need to uh, see here so basically make sure that whenever you are seeing this type of questions so always read the questions first okay that is one of the 
crucial thing that you need to do. What you need to do, you need to make sure that you need to look in for the uh, this one. What is that? I can say the question ideas first. But how do you take up the question idea here? So that is one of the important thing. How do you understand the question? So you should not analyze the question idea whenever you people are. What is that doing it by your own idea? Kindly go with what author is trying to present it. So that is the most important thing we want you to do here. OK, so therefore. Now understand the question idea, then simultaneously you listen to the task. And once you listen to the tasks, then what you do, you try to, what is it? Find the answers. And when you're answering, don't try to answer the questions just on a guess. Listen properly. Whether if your question idea is matching 100%, then you people need to present the things there. Okay, so now, let us go for the matching questions. The question type two is what? Basically, it is talking about the matching. OK, so matching in the sense what? They are going to narrate the features of something. They will be talking about something. Uh, Supriya, you just uh, closed your uh, this one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Can you can you share it? Yes, ma'am. Did it. <clears throat> yes yeah so now you can see here so what do we have matching in the sense so basically what they give they are giving the features okay they are discussing about certain things and they are giving us the features here so like for example you remember match the following when you people were in schools and colleges we had this match the following right one type of idea they will be presenting and this side accordingly the corresponding ideas will be there here okay so now what happens we need to match exactly the same thing here also my instruction is that you should not look on for the different options given here. You can see this is how the question appears. Okay, We'll be having many options and we'll be having the questions. Focus first on the questions here. Why? Because so many options are there. Here we need only four options as the answer. But here we have more than four. That means almost seven we have, almost double options we have. If you read everything, okay, if you try to retain all these informations, who knows among this we may not have, I mean, we'll not be having three features which are not according to this two items what they have given. So therefore, there is no point, OK? We don't have the point of what is that uh, reading all the options. Rather, what you need to see here, you try to see basically what is the question you're asking. And read the question idea properly. Here, they have given the instruction in the bold letters. Don't forget to read that. Choose four answers from the given options and write the correct letters A to G next to questions one to four. That means what is that they are trying to say here? They are trying to say four answers you need to choose from here. And when you are choosing four options from here, so what is that you are uh, supposed to do? You are supposed to uh, give. What is that? The options, correct options and option letters you are supposed to give. OK, you're not supposed to give. So uh, the this one, what is that? Uh, the answers, you should not write the words what they have given here. OK, so that is the thing we have here. So therefore, so now what you can do, so try to take up, listen. And what is that we are listening? We are listening for the characteristic, the arrows of the fourth turning. OK, so that is the thing we uh, we need to find out. And then the minor character, you need to listen to these both things that we have here. OK, so now, uh, uh, Supriya, can you please uh, switch on the audio? So you are focusing on what? Heroes of the fourth thing. So and then minor character. Can you can you please? Uh, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Jessica Meadows, one of the artistic directors from our own Selma Theater. Hello. 
Now, you are here to tell us about your upcoming production of the play. It is, is it audible, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Me, I'm Jessica Meadows, one of the artistic directors from our own Selma Theater. Hello, Jessica. Hello. Okay. Okay, Sai, Pratap, and all. I guess you people have handouts, right? Can you can you uh, just open those handouts, guys? Isha and all. There is a handout for today. Guys, try out the handouts. Open uh, open the handouts on your this one. Whether you people are doing that. Yeah, uh, switch on Supriya. Okay, ma'am, I'll continue. No, for the first only. Kindly, ki students, kindly take up the uh, this one. One of the artistic directors of Selma Theater. Hello, Jessica. Hello. Now, you are here to tell us about your upcoming production of the play, It Is God Is. Is that correct? Well, yes, but I just want to clarify up front that this will not be your typical play. In fact, it will be a radio play. With the pandemic making it impossible to have people come watch the play in person and to get the actors together to film the play, we decided to do a radio play. I see. So tell us a little bit about the obstacles or process of converting a play written for the stage into a play for radio. With this particular play, the challenge was considerable, but by the time we were shut down by the pandemic, we had already put a year of work into the play. For that reason, no one was willing to give up on the show. Sorry for the might do it uh, Supriya, can you stop? Play. There is yes, ma'am. Guys, are you not able to hear? Ma'am, audio is not clear, ma'am. Okay, audio is not clear. And you people would have got today's handouts, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, can you open the, those handouts, guys? And you can use your uh, headphones or earphones. <clears throat> Because these audios are uh, this one, right? So that's the reason we give you the handouts so that you can listen to the audios uh, separately by uh, yourself personally. See, there is a link also given. Kindly download. See, now in the chat box only there is a uh, uh, this one handout link. See, uh, our sh uh, shloka has given the link. See, kindly download it. Even Supriya has sent it. Kind Guys, you should download the handouts beforehand of like every class. You should download the handouts and keep them with yourselves. Because it's listening, right? Listening what happens. So on some people could hear it very clearly because I'm able to hear. Some people like who are using mobiles and all that, they can't hear it clearly. That's the reason the handout is given to you guys. Okay. Now everyone download it. Just give me a, a, this one. Is it uh, downloaded, guys? Yes, yes. The, can, can we start now? We'll play from our end also. You people also play it, OK? So and now, please play, uh, Supriya. OK. Yeah. Here on Radio Philly, we have Jessica Meadows, one of the artistic directors from our own Selma Theater to the play. <laughs> For that reason, no one was willing to give up on the show. Everyone wanted to fight to do it somehow. But with this particular play, there is quite a lot of violence. People beating up on them. As you can imagine, that's hard to do if the actors aren't in the same space. At first, we didn't think this could be recreated via an audio play, but after digging deep and working with experts in sound design and creating original music, we were able to do it. Great. So listeners, mark that on your calendar and be sure to have a quiet place where you can enjoy the audio play. So Jessica, while I have you here, I want to ask about what's next. 
can you tell us a bit about how next season will go? Yes and no. We're already working on our plays for next season, which includes four plays that are quite diverse in their subject matter. For example, there is one play about four friends who get together for a backyard party, and there are interesting debates about life. That one's called Hero or Turn It. And there's another play called Minor Character, which is actually a short play translated into six different languages, including a translation produced by a translation app. So very crazy. The final play, then, is a combination of the six different languages. That sounds interesting indeed. What play are you looking forward the most to? Wow, that's a difficult question. With the first play, it is interesting to see the lives of these characters and how their relationships have formed over the years. So a human drama. But with minor character, I am so looking forward to seeing how the director navigates the challenge of working with those different translations. Yes, very different plays for different audiences. So are tickets already on sale for the upcoming season? Not quite, but we do have the Selma Pass, which is a way to pay now without making a commitment to a particular play or date. You can buy a package of three or four tickets and then use it as you wish. You heard it here first, folks. Support your local theater by purchasing a pass that you can use too. Yeah. So now, guys, what happened here? What was the challenge? <laughs> I guess you people for some seconds in the beginning you did not get anything about these two plays isn't it they did not speak only for the first few uh this one i in, in fact some seconds only they did not almost a minute they did not speak only at the later end they started speaking about these two plays isn't it so they started speaking about so these two plays when at the end that means this is one of the uh, learning that you need to have that always as soon as you get the listening your questions answers will not come why and how did you recognize this because and also look at the sound of the uh, speaker very soft it is this is the challenge okay this this is what this is the kind of challenge that you people will be getting the sound will be low so they will be very what is that uh, speaking fast also we need to overcome all these things that's the reason we have particularly taken such type of difficult questions why because you saw one thing is in the beginning only you don't have answer the other thing is the volume by itself is low there. Okay. And also the speaker is speaking without, like you can see that it is like without life. There is no lot of movements in the sentences. And also now we are, they are speaking about two plays. Okay. So the, what was the first play they spoke about? Heroes of the fourth turning. And what was that they said? The heroes of fourth turning was about four friends who just set out. Basically, they went out so together on some trip, isn't it? So therefore, what are the two ideas? I could see many options here. Yes, uh, like so they it was a drama about four friends. B is the first answer, isn't it? B can be the first answer. Whether uh, and they sit outside all the four friends actually they had gone out on to some forest or something they say so therefore it should be what what is the right option here it is not audio production it is not in different the second one was in different languages okay it was not in the uh, this one so therefore for heroes of the fourth turning it should be b uh, and e Yes, Shruti is correct here. Uh, Anumula is also correct. Uh, Ishwarya, B, C, C, and F. Whereas minor character is what? It is about different, it is in different uh, languages. And also what you see here. So we also see that it is the lastly, she says, na, we, we need to see how this producer manages the thing. Okay, it's so challenging. It is challenge actually. So therefore, it is a challenge for a director and also what it is, it is in different languages there. So guys got this. 
yeah so the answer would be b e c f or e b uh, this one what is that f c it could be uh, g it is not g a lot of sound editing no 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 the particular idea is what they were saying it is challenging varala so the last option is not correct did others get this answer the answer would be b c uh, b e c e f everyone got this guys yes good so but remember the challenges we had in this audio now you need to be ready for such kind of audios now when you people are practicing don't pick up a straight forward audio and don't try to pick uh, what is that start answering okay so no no you can't uh, see for the first one you can change that is zeros of the fourth turning you can write either b and e or e and b for minor character you can write c and f or f and c but you can't change it in both of them you can't write for heroes of the fourth coming as so uh, e and f uh, sorry f and c or something like that no because these two two characteristics of two plays so there the sequence could be changed but not to the two different questions these two are two different questions akriti i got you got to know about this thing your doubt is clear yeah so next uh, supriya can you just uh, go on to the next uh, question Yes, ma'am. This one, sampled question two. Yes. Now, guys, this is also challenging. See, I said uh, so. Some of the things, uh, like uh, it is really challenging in listening. Okay. So, and we want to present the challenging tasks only. Why? Because if we, if you guys are attending the class, means you need to learn those how to overcome the challenges, right? So now. what is that here let us read that question heading okay question heading compulsorily you need to read whatever happens you people need to read the question ending without any uh, this one what have the speakers heard about each of the following courses that means what they have described the courses okay and the speakers have already we have certain speakers see it is a like many are speaking here speakers have heard something about this choose five answers from the box and write the correct letters what they have heard now we are we need only five options look at the options how many comments we have we have many comments here so that means what so whether you will look at the comments or you will look at the courses guys you will be looking at the courses right so now look at the courses listen carefully listen which speaker is talking about what course and what he or she is narrating about the course that you need to uh, have a idea now before the uh, audio starts okay you will have time to read the questions on what questions you will be uh, uh, keeping eye on you will be seeing what are the different courses that they are talking about okay here we they are talking about project management spanish language cognitive psychology business administration and creative and innovation so that means they are talking about five programs which are those project management spanish language cognitive psychology business administration and creative and innovation and also one more thing you people keep in mind that they won't be speaking one after the other like it is sequenced here they may speak about business administration first they may speak about cognitive psychology uh, later so they can speak mix of things okay don't expect like it will go in the sequence only never ever it happens even in this speech also the same thing is happening kindly be careful about the listening okay start now guys uh, you can uh, switch on by yourself if you are not able to hear from our end so uh, supriya can you please uh, switch on the audio yes so ma'am for joining you today so much no problem ma'am you will hear two university students discussing the subsidiary subjects they can choose from in the second year of their degree courses Let's listen. So, have you made a decision about what subsidiary subject you're going to study next year? No, to be honest, I haven't really given it much thought yet. 
we have got a few more weeks left before we need to decide. And how about you? Well, I've been mulling it over for a while, but I haven't come to any conclusions. I don't want to rush into anything. Well, what choices do you have available in the chemistry department? I expect that they are related to maths or computing, are they? Not very interesting. Well, they used to be, but these days you can choose things like business administration, project management, or even something called creativity and innovation. Creativity and innovation? That sounds a bit different. What does that involve? Well, I was talking to someone who did the course last year, and they actually put me off of it. Why? What did he say? He said that the lecturer was excellent, but he also told me completing the assignments took up a lot of his time, and it's only supposed to be a subsidiary subject after all. Well, how about a business administration? Everyone says that's dull as ditch water. Hmm. I heard the project management course is good though, very hands on and not theoretical at all. So I guess it'll be a toss up between creativity and innovation and project management. Right. Well, I think I've narrowed my choices down to two. But you said you hadn't really thought about it. Well, when you're doing a degree in education, there isn't much choice. Most of the subjects are compulsory. Okay, so what are the two options? Either cognitive psychology, which might be good because I can do the classes online as well as face-to-face, -face, or Spanish language. And which way are you leaning at the moment? In fact, I'm thinking of doing Spanish, mostly because I've heard that it's actually fun. A lot of the lectures I've attended this year have been quite dry, so Spanish might be the breath of fresh air that I've been looking for. Huh. Guys, can you post me the answers? Did you guys get? Okay, uh, second one is B, yes. So, yeah, yeah uh, like, uh, fifth one is F, good. Why? Because he uses an idiom to say it was boring, isn't it? Fifth one is S. Yeah, first let me uh, tell you, narrate, and I'll give you the answers, okay? So, yeah, I could see a few of them skipping a few things. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, you could, when they were speaking, so the male uh, speaker spoke about what? So chem basically he's a chemistry uh, student and he spoke about the courses, project management, business administration and creative uh, and innovation. Okay. When he was speaking, he started off with creative and uh, creativity and innovation, isn't it? So when he was talking about creativity and innovation, he just said that it, uh, the lectures were excellent, etc., uh, etc. Et but for this optional uh, program, he had the students said that they had to spend lot of time. If lot of time is what it is, it is time consuming, isn't it? So therefore, fifth one is F, guys. Let us go in the way the speaker has gone. Okay, fifth one is what? F here. And he says that business administration, he just in one sentence, he finishes off. So what is that? It is boring. Karke. So business administration, he says that it's boring. So it should be G there. Yes, correct. So I could see Sai and Tarini, uh, uh, they have given uh, G only. So business administration is, what is that G? And uh, then project management was what? He says that it was quite practical. So project management is what? So it is practical. C, yes. So very good, guys. I could see many of you answered correct. Very good, very good. And now the uh, this one, the female speaker speaks about uh, her uh, options for courses. She says that she has no that many uh, this one options, and she has this cognitive psychology. Cognitive psychology. Why it is because she can attend online classes. Okay, so that means what it was quite flexible, isn't it? That is flexible D, very good. So, and the Spanish language, it basically, uh, it uh, it is very cherishable, it is enjoyable, B. So totally your answer should be what? First one is C, second one is B, third one is D, fourth one is G, and fifth one is F. Got everyone? How many got five on five? Guys, tell me. How many got five on five? Four on five. Not bad. Good. This is first. No, not bad. Yeah. 
hey, no sad, the sad, uh, the Akriti, no sad. It's okay. So three on five, not a problem. It's on first go, you people have got this one. Be happy, okay? So good. So three on five, still fine. This is your first listening, right? So no worries. We should never get disheartened by our uh, this one, failures, okay? Failures are the stepping stone for success, isn't it? Right. No bad. It's uh, it's good. Three on five is not a bad score. Even zero on five is not a bad score because you have attended that. The not attending is bad. Attending and getting zero is a good thing. You're giving a try. T giving a try is one of the important thing. Yeah, Jay, don't worry. So today you have got zero on five. But next week when you do listening, you will be getting five on five. Okay, so you attended it. That is the best part, right? Yes. Let us go for the next set of questions. Let's give a try. Okay, so now try, try, try until you succeed, isn't it? Let's go for the next set of questions. Yes, Supriya, so can you please uh, go on to next question? Thank you. Uh, third question. Hmm. Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Now, hmm. guys, you're also a little tricky. What is that? What does Jack tell his tutor about each of the following course options? Okay, so we have course options and we have uh, uh, this one. Uh, Jack's, uh, this one, what is that? Response. So now what are the course options we have? Five courses we have. One is media study. One is women and power, culture and society, identity and popular culture, and introduction to culture theory. Now, which one you guys need to uh, look? Whether you look uh, need to look at options, that is, he will definitely do it. He may or may not do it. He won't do it. Whether you need to do the see that one or one, two, three, uh, four, five. You need to look for the questions. Yeah, which are the questions here? One to five are the questions. Now, nah? what we'll do by looking at the options there? When we don't know the question only, what, what is the idea of looking at the, question, uh, the options, right? Isn't it? One to five. Yes, you need to look at one to five. So one to five, you understand the question. What is it saying? Jack is giving his opinion about certain subjects. Okay. Now you need to say for which subject, what opinion is trying to give. So that you need to find out. What is that we need to find out? We need to find out what is the opinion that is trying to give with regards to these, uh, uh, this one's uh, courses or the subjects. Okay. So now can we play your, give me a thumbs up if we can play it. Yes. Now listen carefully. Take it as a challenge. Think it as a real test and start. What is that? Uh, listening carefully and do it. Yes. You will hear a communication studies student talking to his tutor about optional courses for the next semester. Come in. Oh, hello, Jack. Have a seat. Right. You said you wanted to see me to talk about your options next semester? That's right. We have to decide by the end of next week. Really, I'd like to do all five options, but we have to choose two, don't we? Yes, but the choice depends on your major to some extent. You're majoring in communication studies, aren't you? That's right. So, for example, the media studies option will cover quite a lot of the same area you did in the core module on mass communications this semester the development of the media through the last two centuries in relation to political and social issues. Mm. Well, that was interesting, but I've decided I'd rather do something completely new. There's a women's studies option, isn't there? Uh, yes, women and power. Again, it has a historical focus. It aims to contextualize women's studies by looking at the legal and social situation in the 19th and early 20th centuries. So it would be useful if I intended to specialize in women's studies, but I'm not sure I do, actually. Well, it might still be useful to give you an idea of the issues involved. It's taught by Dr. Steed. Oh, really? I'll sign up for that then. Oh. 
What about the option on culture and society? That addresses the historical debate on the place of culture since the Industrial Revolution in Britain. So, a historical focus again. <laughs> Do I get the message you're not so keen on history? Well, it's just that we seem to have done quite a lot this semester. Anyway, I'll think about that one. If you're interested in a course focusing on current issues, there's the option on identity and popular culture. That approaches the subject through things like contemporary film, adverts, soap operas, and so on. That sounds interesting. Can you tell me who runs it? Well, it's normally Dr. Stevens, but he's on sabbatical next semester, so I'm not sure who will be running it. It should be decided by next week, though. Right. Well, I might wait until then to decide. And the last option is introduction to cultural theory, isn't it? I'm quite interested in that too. I was talking to one of the second year students and she said it was really useful. It made a lot of things fall into place. Yes, but in fact, in your major, you'll have covered a lot of that already in Communications 102. So that might be less useful than some of the others. Oh, uh, I'll forget about that one then. Mm. Now, yeah. Guys, you got it. And look at the speaker. He was quite, uh, she was quite loud. Now he also loud. And uh, a lady was also loud now. So that means, yes, we'll be getting certain speakings like this and certain speakings like the other one. So media studies, what happened? I could see many uh, correct answers. Shruti, yes, it is absolutely correct. Three, one, two, two, three. Media studies, why you will not be doing, guys? Because ma that madam says that. Already he has covered a lot, isn't it? Women and power he is interested to do. Culture and society, he may think of it. Okay. And identity and popular culture also, because it's again, what is that? The professor issue was there because that Steve is on sabbatical. Okay. So he'll think about that also. And introduction to culture theory, definitely no, isn't it? So therefore, three, one, two, two. Three. Very good. So I could see the improvement. Very good, Atharva. So five on five. Sai also. Wow, wow good. Ishu, Isha got four on five. Good. Tarini, yes. So very good. What about others? So good. That's what practice. Practice makes man perfect, isn't it? Guys, I'm using everywhere the idioms and all. Try to catch up those idioms and start using in your speaking, guys. Whenever, like, uh, but in the start, he told he needs to do um, minimum two. Yeah, that's the reason. Uh, he, one he is conformed. Two is not conformed. No. Anumula, don't worry. So it's two, not a problem. You're starting off. With, you're starting. Be energetic. Okay. So two is not a problem practice you will be getting more answers correct isn't it so never ever get disappointed by your try you should be happy that you got two or you should be happy that you face the exam isn't it so no worries practice we have a lot of practice material for you guys so kindly practice on them okay so uh right guys so now can i go on to this uh, question set four uh, Supriya, can you please switch on the question set four? This one. Yeah. Yeah. You will hear a man talking to an official. Uh, uh, Supriya, Supriya, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let me let me explain the question to students. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay. Uh, sorry to trouble you again. I'm ready. no, no, ma'am. No problem at all. So uh, now they are given the questions here. They have given the options and we have the questions. All these times, uh, what, what you saw, the course names, like one word, one word thing we had. Okay. So it was quite easy. Uh, uh, this one, what is that uh, from there? Yeah, uh, Neta, what we should choose two from uh, five, right? No, uh, it was not two for everything. So basically, for each of the option, what he was thinking. So that you need to choose. What was his opinion about each of the course? So that you need to uh, choose, Neta. 
so basically the first one he said he will do the next two uh, like uh, then he said certain things he will not do certain things it uh, said that he will be thinking of doing okay so that is the thing for each option what was his opinion that is asked here okay now right uh, let's come back so uh you know not in the question they said to choose only two you need to tell out of whatever the given three options what did he uh, basically think about each of the course what did the student think about each of the course that is what and they said that the student has options to pick up two courses okay out of the list he has two courses to pick up and this two courses among this what is his opinion which one he is choosing how huh, one he chose that is a so the rest of the two he was in a dilemma he'll be deciding it later okay uh neta i will recommend you to listen to it once again get the clarity on that okay now so here we have one more question something like this here what is the difference that we have means you can see that so all this time we had courses one word structures and everything so it was very easy for us to pick up the answers why because the question thing to remember was very little we had very little to remember in the question but now the real challenge is that when the question itself is lengthy okay when the question itself is lengthy when you have to read the question and understand and then you need to relate to the speaking that is the real challenge that we are going to get so why you people only think if we have the words we can easily what is that connect them but when the idea is in the form of sentences okay when we have the idea only in the form of sentences so what happens the challenge is there what is the challenge understanding the question properly and connecting with the speaker's idea is the main challenge there so this challenge could be overcome in a very simple way what is that don't mark on the key words i am first and foremost so say this thing for you guys whenever you get a lengthy sentence kindly don't mark keywords in the question guys why right now you have seen that there is what is that uh, uh this one uh, uh this one what is that you can see that the whatever the words they are using in the question the same words they are not using in your uh speaking part isn't it they're completely paraphrasing that means they're telling it in a different way they are explaining it in a different way if that is happening so what do you think you should be careful right you need to understand the question idea right so that question idea let us try to understand what is the question idea that we have here so they are talking which hotel matches each description they are talking about the hotel and they are describing the hotel okay so and they have given the list of hotels and the list of description now what is the question here the options these are the options and these are the questions now you see these questions the descriptions you need to focus and on these descriptions you need to pick up the hotels there so understand there is a hotel in a rural area they are talking about a hotel that is located in the rural area and the other you need to find out which is located in the rural area now don't get confused rural urban okay we see even like what is that a person who is well versed with english language also they get usually confused with rural and urban rural means what rural means village countryside uh your this one what is that urban city okay city kind okay so remember that so that means uh question type in the heading yeah basically when you look at the question only you should understand what is the question type they won't be telling it uh this one what is that particularly this is a match the question and all but from the question you can uh, the questions will appear same like this so you can 
uh, get it. Very good, guys. So yes. So now we are, the next one is what? Only opened recently. That means they are talking about a hotel that has only opened recently. That means it has opened recently. Yeah. And then the other one is what? It offers facilities for business function. We have another hotel which will be offering facilities for business functions. Okay. And then we have one more which has an indoor swimming pool. So now, can, uh, Supriya, can you please switch on? Now you people know the characteristic. Listen and answer all of them quickly. Yes. Supriya, can you please switch on? Yes. You will hear a man talking to an official at a tourist information office. Can I help you? Yes, I was wanting somewhere to stay for a few days, a four or five star hotel. Can you tell me something about the possibilities? Okay, right. Well, there are five hotels that might interest you. Were you wanting a city centre location or would you be interested in something a bit further out? Well, I do have a car, so I could go for either. Well, there are two central hotels in the range you're looking for. There's Carlton House and the Imperial. They're both near the main square. But if you've got your own transport, you might be interested in the Royal Oak. That's out in the country, about 10 kilometres away. Very peaceful. Um, then there's the Bridge Hotel and the Majestic. Uh, they're both in town, but not in the centre. They're out on the airport road. Mm, that might be a bit far out, actually. OK, now the other two you mentioned in the city centre. Can you tell me a bit about them? Well, they're both excellent hotels. If you want something with a bit of character, Carlton House is quite unusual. It's a very old building that was originally a large private house. It was bought by the Vannies chain and they completely refurbished it. They took their first guests just a few months ago, but it's already got an excellent reputation. That's a five star hotel. Or there's the Imperial, which is a much more modern building that also has its own gym and it also has internet connection and meeting rooms. It's used for conferences and corporate events as well as private guests. That's five star as well. Does it have a swimming pool as well as a gym? No, the Royal Oak has an outdoor pool, which is lovely in the summer, but the only hotel with an indoor pool is the Bridge Hotel. It doesn't have a gym, though. The Majestic is planning to build a swimming pool and a fitness centre, but it's not finished yet. I see. Well, I think I'll probably go for one of the city centre hotels. Very good. I could see the answers coming out, pouring in. Yeah, E, B, C and A. Very good. So 10 kilometers away from the uh, countryside, which one is that? So it is your Royal Oak. And which was recently, it was a house, but now recently they operated few guests. And which was that? So it is Carlton House. Very good. So and uh, so this one, the other facilities, it is Imperial. And then a swimming pool, it, was, uh, it is just a bridge hotel. Very good. E, B, C, A. Very good. Isha, two on four. No, no sad faces. No issues. Give a try. Not in uh, this one. Okay. See, where you people? See, and one more thing, guys. When you do this at first go, if you're getting, uh, what is that? Uh, less score, repeat. Listen to it again. And try to give the answers. And see how many have corrected. There you understand where actually you have missed there. So, so for everyone who have four on four applause, for everyone who have given a try, so great applause. Okay. So, and so here yeah, I would like to say now immediately after this class, listen to the audios again and try to do it again. Okay. Those who have got the less score, listen to the audio. And several times you need to do this. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, can we have speaking classes early? My exam is in three weeks. Yeah, definitely, uh, Shruti. We'll be working on it. Don't worry, okay? No, we will be starting. But in next three weeks, we'll finish the class also. Don't worry about that. So we'll be starting because this is a four-week class, right? So we'll be starting off with the speaking. No issues. We'll start off, okay? 
uh please give some practice practice material yes isha so the, there is practice materials in the handouts only and even in the portals you will be having and also you people please join the telegram groups in that also you will be getting the extra uh, handouts okay yes you will have answers in the uh, this one handouts only okay uh right any uh yeah so our moderators will be helping out uh helping you out with the telegram ids and uh yes so any queries on this part no are we good to go yes thank you supriya thank you dear students uh, for having the patience and extremely sorry for the inconvenience because of technical